Hello and welcome to the Flip and Write Show. I am Nick Safoni, your host, and you have found me at www.rei-tv.com. Thanks for coming and watching today. Today we're talking about how to insource or outsource. Most people call it outsourcing. I like to call it insourcing. Now here's where the difference is. Um, outsourcing is when you hire a virtual assistant or really anybody that you pay that isn't one of your employees or contractors that work directly for you to get your work done for you. And it's real popular now. You may have read the book, The 4-Hour Work Week. Four hour work week. You can tell this is unedited, huh? Uh, that, that teaches you how to run your business by using virtual assistants and, and hiring other people. And I call it insourcing because the folks that work for me directly work with me as partners in my business. They don't work for other folks as well. I mean, some of them have jobs, but um, outside of real estate, and some of them do their own deals too, but they work for me directly. And I really suggest you should pay close attention because insourcing can take your business way to the next level if you're good and if you have a little system and you know what you're doing. And more importantly, if you find the right people. I, I, I honestly have to say I am blessed to have a great group of people working for me and with me as my partners. We call them project managers, ground partners, whatever it may be. Now here's what I'm talking about. Lots of trainers and real estate investor instructors talk about OPM, other people's money, how to use other people's money, how to borrow from other folks, uh, how to use private investors or banks or whatever it might be to to take your to, to run your business with. Because obviously we run out of money if we're buying here and there in so many houses. Um, I call this OPT, which is other people's time, or OPE, OP. <laughs> You know, I grew up, some people used to call me Opie. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that, should I? Um, um, anyways, O-P-E, other people's efforts. Um, in my business, like I said, I have partners that work for me on my deals. They work with me. And in the last, oh, I, I guess we average, we average probably four to ten contracts a month signed. And I no longer look at the houses or talk to the sellers or talk to the buyers or... I do some showings of the houses, that type of thing, but a lot of our system has people looking at the houses without any of us there. We use lock boxes a lot, but um, in any case, we probably have averaged four to ten contracts, five to ten contracts a month in the la you know for the last three four months, um, and I don't get involved too much with the deals anymore. Now. Investors who are not full-time, this is good for, because if you have a full-time job somewhere else and you're just starting to get into investing, learning a system like this could really let you, it could let you invest full-time on a part-time basis. Uh, if it wasn't for the uh, system that I use, there's not a, not a chance that I could be doing REI TV like this either. I just wouldn't have the time to sit out a few days a week and make these and edit them and do all that. When I say edit them, I don't really edit them. I just put the little letters down on the bottom that say REI TV sometimes sometimes i do sometimes i don't but in any case this is really ideal for investors who uh who are seasoned investors and you know i did 15 14 15 deals my first year but i killed myself i put so many hours in and i know i could have done more and i know i i know some of you feel the same way you know you could do more deals if you could just squeeze another four or five hours out of every day or squeeze another day or two into the week and this system will let you do that um it's also good for investors who, even if you're a new investor, something like this would work good for you because everybody has their strengths and their weaknesses. I've met some people who know how to invest. I mean, they've been through the courses, they've been through the boot camps, they know what they're doing, but their problem is they're not good with people. So they're not good on a telephone or they're not good going out face to face. Well, sometimes someone like that, maybe their strengths are all the bookkeeping and record keeping and running a business. And that, that's where I stink. Um, but in any case, um, you know, those type of people need to find somebody to work with them who's good at that, who can go out and talk to the people for them or make the phone calls for them. So it's also a good way, this type of system to use, to find people to partner with and get those first deals done. But more, it's most efficient for someone, like I said, who's already doing five, six, eight deals a year and wants to jump up to 15 or 20 or 30 deals or, or more a year by leveraging other people. And I say leveraging other people, it's really by finding partners and bringing in partners to work with them. And these partners will raise their hand and, and they'll really appreciate the help you give them. 
Uh, I typically find and recruit folks at REI meetings. Um, that's where most of the folks that I work with, I've met them. I, I, or, or boot camps or seminars. I'll go to a boot camp or seminar that's local and I'll meet other investors and, uh, or I'll go to my REIA meetings here in Chicago and I'll meet new investors who they're sharp, they, they, they seem like they're hard workers. They're just new in the business and they little bit, need a little bit of help. And I'm sure you can see, many of you are probably in the same situation where you're sitting there thinking, man, if I just had an investor that, that can work with me for one or two deals, I, I know I can get this business rolling if I just had a little bit of help to help me get over the hump on those first deals. So I take those people and I teach them my system. I, I teach them how I run the business. So I meet these people, typically I meet them face to face, but I, you could do it with flyers and brochures and, and put those out at Rio's. You could meet people through forums and message boards. We're just starting now to expand our program to work with people nationwide in other cities who want a little bit of help with their deals. And once we launch officially the site here and got all that going, we're gonna make that a little more public, <coughs> excuse me, and start bringing in some more people to work with us. But in any case, you recruit these people, you can do it with ads, you can do it with flyers, you can do it through word of mouth, you can do it at RIA meetings, and then what I what we do <coughs> is we bring them in for a one day training session that's three or four or five hours, and we sit with them for those four or five hours. I usually have a group, and I give them all the information about our business. I give them we have a a little book that we take out to the house when we talk to sellers. We don't always use it; it depends on the situation. But it tells it's a flip book. It tells about our business and tells about, you know, the house, it shows a list of houses we've already done deals with to give us credibility. It explains, you know, how we can help them out of the GM. It has a page in there that shows how much money it would actually cost them to sell their house on their own. But in any case, I go through that with the new, with the new guys. I also go through our scripts with the new guys. We hand out our scripts. We teach them the different types of deals that we do. And, and the system like this works no matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter if you're doing short, hab, short sales or short halves. It doesn't matter if you're doing short sales or if you're doing rehabs or if you're a foreclosure investor or sub twos or if you're just a wholesaler. In any case, so I teach these people, you teach these people the system that you use, you teach them how to work with your script, and then you work with them at first to, to, get, them in, to get them involved. And um, you send the leads out to them. You do the, I still do all my own marketing. And as the leads come in, the leads go out to the guys that work for me, my ground partners. We call them project managers. And then they call the leads on the initial call. Once they talk to the leads, they get back to myself and my partner, Dave. Um, Dave was one of the first guys that I started working with. He was a brand new investor a couple of years ago when we met. And he, uh, he, he took to this business like a fish takes to water. And um, he was the first person that I worked with on this level as a partner. And he uh, now, He's more of a partner of mine. Uh, he gets a cut of all the deals in my whole business. And he helps me manage this group of people. So we bring these guys in. We teach them for three or four hours. And then we have a conference call once a week with the group where we discuss deals, we teach things, we update things. You also have to have somewhere to keep track of it. So I suggest an internet-based um, an inter an internet program. Now, what we do is when we get a lead, uh, I do the marketing. Dave sends the lead out to whoever... I don't want to say whoever's worthy, but whoever has less leads or is in that area or for whatever criteria you choose who you give the leads to. Dave, Dave, get, the leads go to Dave. Dave sends out the leads. Um, and then they call the leads. When Dave sends it out, it gets posted on, uh, on, this, uh, on, the web, on the Internet. And uh, as soon as they call the person, they post immediately what happens. There was no answer. I left a message or I talked to them. Here's what's going on. Here's the real situation with the house. They're open to a subject too, or they need all cash. And then Dave and I monitor the board. We, they, we monitor the website and we'll tell the ground partner, okay, here's, here's what has to happen. Make them this offer or that offer. So basically we do the marketing, send out the lead. The ground partners contact the sellers. I'll tell you what else the ground partners do. They, when we get a house under contract, they go out and hang up all the signs. They help us with mailings if we do mailings. Really a system like that, what, what I do, what Dave and I do is we do the marketing and we coach the ground partners on the deals. We help with the contracts and we make sure they close. And the ground partners do 
pretty much all the rest of the work. And they're learning the business through us. So it's not like we're using them at, at all. I love the guys. I do consider each one of them a partner. So they're learning the business, and we're able to do many, many more deals than, than we could possibly do. So we meet, once a, we, meet, we meet live once a month by teleseminar. Um, we used to meet once a month actually live. Everybody would come together. Now we don't do it as often. We do it when we need. Um, obviously, we help them with, on the phone with the sellers and buyers at first if they need it. And i got to admit this. I'm a little guilty of, of slacking. I, I really should help. I, I really... I should spend more time on the phone with my ground partners, helping them with the sellers and buyers, I think, sometimes. And that's, if there's any advice I can give you, if you do put a system like this in place where you're bringing in these guys to work with you, and we've done this, but make sure you work with them until they're totally confident in their closing deals. And if nothing else, you're at least listening to their calls and helping them afterwards. But we give them all the scripts, we tell them what offers to make, we basically tell them what to do step by step. And it enables us to do so many more deals. Like I said, we we sign five to fifteen contracts a month, and I don't look at the houses. I don't talk to the sellers. I don't even talk to the buyers. I, I, I only I step in if I need to, and it's a really good system. Um, I mean, there's nothing better than having a deal close where you haven't done anything but send up a market for the lead, coach a guy a couple times, post on a website a couple times, suggesting what to do. And then, you know, after the contract signed, making sure that, that it gets followed through on. So um, I also suggest once you get somebody that's really sharp, and this is what I did with, with Dave, is I made him a higher level. He's like a manager, or I could, like I said, I consider him a partner. And now he oversees these guys and helps me with the training. So it really frees me up to concentrate on the things that I need to be doing, like marketing and um, making sure the deals close. And making these videos for you. So find new investors. Get them to work with you. Now, so, I mean, you do have to have them sign a contract if, if you're uncomfortable about that. They're all independent contractors. They're not employees, so they're responsible for their own taxes. They do all this work up front. They get paid. My guys get paid from 25 to 50% of the deal, depending on who brings the lead in. If it's my lead, they get 25%. If it's their lead, they get more. Um, and then, of course, Dave gets a part, portion of it, too, because he's like my partner. He runs the whole group. Um, he runs some of the Wednesday night calls. I run some of the Wednesday night calls. But it really is a good system. Train them for a day. Uh, train them once a week by phone. Make sure they have all your materials. Make sure you give them all the support that they need. They learn the business. You triple the amount of deals you do. And it's a win, win, win situation for everybody. I think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write a report about this. I'm going to actually write a PDF report explaining a lot more in detail how I do this and we'll make that available to all the free members um, and of course you know any member at any level but we'll, we'll make it available to all the free members so if you're watching this after June of 2008 or even late May of 2008 you already might have this system or may have already seen the report but uh, if you're watching this now and I'm just recording it on May 3rd or 4th or whatever today is Keep your eyes open. I'll have the report done soon. And you guys can all use this type of system in your business. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick at www.rei-tv.com. Now go make an offer.